Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be covering an egg-shaped core with a globe knot. So here is our globe knot tightened up onto an egg-shaped core. This is a three-pass knot tied in two colors and I chose this particular knot since I wanted small gaps in the knot so that the core inside the knot is still showing a little bit. This is more of a personal preference, but I like it. To tie our knot, we're going to need a globe knot mandrel. The mandrel has four columns of pins, so column one, two, three, four, on both sides of our mandrel. We also have our rows marked down, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. The diameter of our mandrel should be about the same as the diameter of our core. Next, we need an egg-shaped core. For the cordage, we're going to be using two pieces of 95 cord. One piece 20 feet long, the other piece 10 feet long. Finally, a lacing needle is highly recommended. Here is the pin setup for our globe knot mandrel. So rows A and H are empty, rows B, C, D, E, F, G are filled out. In practice, this looks like this. So rows A and H are empty. Rows B, C, D, E, F, G are completely filled out. Let's do our initial setup for tying our knot. Grab the longer out of your two cords, find the middle point. At the middle point, pick one half of your cord, coil it up. Grab your working hand Feed it through the hole in your mandrel Pull your entire working hand through Up to your coil Like this Then Attach a lacing needle onto your working hand. Our working hand is going to come up here near B1. So, column 1 at row B. The run list for our knot is available here on the screen. At this point you can pause and follow the run list line by line. Alternatively, follow along with me tying. 
We begin tying at B1. We move to E3, then from E3 to C1, from C1 to F3, from F3 to D1, from D1 to G3. From G3, we move to B2, going over, under, over. From B2, we move to E4, going over, under, over. From E4, we move to C2, going the opposite to our previous strand. So, under, over, under. From C2, we move to F4, again the opposite to our previous strand. Under, over, under. From F4, we move to D2, again the opposite to our previous strand, over, under, over. From D2, we move to G4, again the opposite to our previous strand, over, under, over. From G4, we move to B3, again the opposite to our previous strand, so starting under, then over, under, Over, under, over. From B3, we now move to E1.
starting under over under over under over from e1 we now move to c3 again the opposite to our previous strand so over under over under over under from c3 we move to f1 going the opposite to our previous strand so over under over under over under from f1 we move to d3 again traveling the opposite to our previous strand so we begin under then over under over under over from d3 We now move to G1, again traveling the opposite to our previous strand. So under, over, under, over, under, over. from g1 we now move to b4 traveling the opposite to our previous strand so over under over under over under over under over from b4 we begin over under over under over under over under over reaching e2 from e2 we travel 
to C4, going the opposite to our previous strand. Under then over, under, and so on. From C4, we move to F2. Again, the opposite to our previous strand. So we begin with an under, then continue over, under, and so on. From F2, we now move to D4, traveling the opposite to our previous strand. So starting over, then under, over under, and so on. Reaching our pen. From D4, we now travel the opposite to our previous strand, to our last pin on the right side, so to G2. From G2, we now travel back to our first pin, going the opposite to our previous strand. So we begin under, then over, under, over and so on to the left side. Place your working hand right next to the standing one, work it a bit deeper into your knot. Now undo your coil, Reattach your lacing needle from the working hand. Onto the end from the coil. 
then double up your knot. So here at B1, I'm simply going to go through the knot backwards, doubling it up. When the two ends meet up, you have doubled up your knot. Sink in all of your screws. At this point, let's tighten up our knot on the mandrel a little bit. You start at one end, going through your knot, gathering up slack, and pulling it into the other end. Tightening now is going to make tightening on the core a bit easier. After a single pass of tightening, slide the knot off of the mandrel, insert your cord, shape up your knot around the cord, then begin tightening up. Again start at one end, pulling a bit, removing slack, out of the knot into the other end. I'm going to do my tightening once, maybe two times. Finally, I'm going to work my second shorter cord into my knot. So the two ends meet up here. I'm going to start a bit further up, let's say here. Going in between the two passes of my knot.
To have the two ends meet up, you will need to jump under a strand here at the end, like this, then continue towards the other end. So, with the two ends meeting up here, and these two meeting up here, we're now going to even out our knot. So adjust the gaps. Personally, I have quite a bit of a gap here. So I'm going to close this one up. Then when I'm satisfied, I'm going to also roll my knot, like this. When done, finally trim the ends, as close to the knot as possible. This concludes our tutorial. I would like to sincerely thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in my future videos as well.